G'day folks and welcome to Giving What We Can's August update. Well, it's been a huge month for effective giving and giving what we can. In this update, we're going to cover the launch of a new long-termism fund, GiveWell's announcement about changes to their top charities, the release of our co-founder Will McCaskill's new book, and so much more. But before we get into all that, we'd like to welcome our new research director, Shir Homakers. He's joined our team this month, and he's a longtime member of Giving What We Can, previously worked at Founders Pledge as a senior researcher, and has been integral in the Patient Philanthropy Fund. We're excited to be growing our research capacity. So we've recently launched the Long-Termism Fund in partnership with Longview Philanthropy. The Long-Termism Fund directs funding to highly effective organizations working to safeguard the long-term future of humanity. These organizations generally work to reduce the global catastrophic and existential risks that face humanity, though the fund also supports work that improves, promotes, and implements long-termist ideas. We're excited to be providing new options to donors and make it easier than ever to help safeguard the long-term future. Earlier this month, GiveWell announced that it's changing the criteria for their top charities. This means that they focus on charities that have highly cost-effective marginal funding opportunities and also have high confidence that the funding will result in significant impact. This change means that GiveDirectly and the deworming programs that they previously had as top charities are no longer listed. It does not, however, represent a change in GiveWell's opinion of the cost-effectiveness of those charities. At Giving What We Can, we're updating our recommended charities in line with the changes from GiveWell, but we still support GiveDirectly and the deworming programs on our donation platform. You can find our update on our blog, as well as responses from the partner charities. We have been thrilled our co-founder, Will McCaskill, has recently launched his new book, What We Owe the Future. It was released in the US on the 16th of August and is being released in the UK on the 1st of September. In his new book, Will makes a case for long-termism, the view that positively influencing the long-term future is a key moral priority of our time. The Giving What We Can team are excited to see that the importance of advocating for future generations is being shared with a wider audience. Will has been interviewed on many prominent podcasts and media outlets, including Time Magazine, The Tim Ferriss Show, The Ezra Klein Show, The Guardian, and many more. The book is available in most places you'll buy books. Now onto some other news. The most recent cover story of Time Magazine is not only about the effective altruism community and features an interview with Will McCaskill, it was also written by a longtime Giving What We Can member who is now the executive editor at Time. We recently released a video titled The Journey to Founding One of the World's Most Effective Charities. It shares the amazing story of how Rob Mather founded one of the world's most effective charities, the Against Malaria Foundation, all because he once accidentally changed a TV channel. Well, that's all we have time for today. Have a look at our full newsletter for more news and updates. And until next time, keep on doing good.